In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. That's how it begins. My nights are spent composing insomniac open letters to you, two-hour-long monologues that end in exhaustion. And sometimes, in the middle of my day, I'll remember that I fell asleep before ending my previous night's prayer with a proper amen. And I'll wonder whether my channel to you is still open, my every word and invocation, the sounds of my Atari games, Little League practice, and eighth grade history class becoming the annoying background noise of heaven. And maybe forgetting to say amen makes my life one long, continuous prayer. And if so, then you were there that afternoon when I tucked my penis tightly behind my legs just to see what I'd look like without it. When I wrap bedroom curtains around my body like a prom dress, turn tattered shoelaces into necklaces and bracelets. And you were there later that same night when I began another prayer within a prayer to once again beg for your forgiveness. Wanting to be a girl never came up in CCD or in Sunday Mass. And it's not covered in the Ten Commandments. But from everything the nuns and priests have taught me about you, I know that you do not approve. And when I turn to your holy words to look for anything that might shed some light onto whatever this is that I'm going through, I keep returning to the same story, the one about Abraham, and how you commanded him to sacrifice his son to you, stopping the blade only seconds before he actually went through with it. And forgive me, Father, for I can't help but think that that was a fucked up thing to do. And maybe I'm like Abraham, and this is just another one of your tests. Maybe you put girl thoughts into the heads of 12-year-old boys just to see how they react. Maybe I'm an experiment, and you're up in heaven looking down on me and taking notes as I tear myself apart in self-hatred, tossing and turning in bed as if acting out my inevitable burning in hell. And at first, these sins made me even more devout. I'd lie awake each night clutching the glow-in-the-dark rosary beads my grandmother gave me, repeating the words that I once heard her say, Blessed are those who have not seen, yet believe. And I want to believe. But more and more, it just feels like you're torturing me. And I'm doing the best that I can to plug up all of the holes in this disintegrating dam as my brain bleeds rivers of bad thoughts that pour out of my mouth and hands like wounds that won't clot. And I can't understand why you won't help when I've asked you over and over again to please either turn me into a girl or else make these thoughts stop. The nuns say that you answer all prayers. It's just that sometimes the answer is no. Well, I'm tired of praying to a God who only offers me thou shalt nots. I am tired from lack of sleep, from keeping secrets that burn so much they hollow me out. I am tired of hurting so much that sometimes I pray that I don't wake up. So forgive me, Father, for I have sinned. I have dared to share all of myself with you, forcing you to watch one long sacrilegious prayer within a prayer within a prayer within a prayer, like a serpent swallowing its own soul, like a serpent swallowing itself whole. Maybe tonight I'll finally be cured of this sleeping sickness because the last few years of living in absolute shame and unbelievable pain has made me fearless enough to finally say amen. <laughs>